In CKD, the kidneys lose their ability to excrete phosphate, leading to hyperphosphatemia. The kidneys also produce less active vitamin D, resulting in decreased calcium absorption and hypocalcemia. Both hypocalcemia and hyperphosphatemia stimulate the parathyroid glands to produce more PTH to maintain calcium levels. This is the secondary hyperparathyroidism stage. However, over time, the continuous stimulation of the parathyroid glands leads to glandular hyperplasia, and as hyperplasia progresses, the parathyroid glands become less responsive to normal feedback mechanisms. So, in some patients, particularly in those after prolonged and severe secondary hyperparathyroidism, the parathyroid glands can become autonomous, meaning they secrete PTH independently of blood calcium levels. At this stage, even when the initial course of secondary hyperparathyroidism is corrected, for example, after a kidney transplant, the overactive parathyroid glands continue to produce excessive PTH, which will lead to hypercalcemia. This is when we talk about tertiary hyperparathyroidism.